So hi everybody and today we shall be discussing about linear algebra and its application. Especially my focus will be linear algebra topics for machine learning and we will be restricting only to the important topics. So uh, we will go through what is linear algebra, basic introduction, then the key topics for linear algebra in machine learning to be used and I'll walk you through a very classic example of linear algebra that is PCA, principal component analysis algorithm. And then we'll walk on to the applications of linear algebra and along with the sources where you can go in depth of the study if you're really interested for that. So let's just get started with what is linear algebra. Okay, so linear algebra, as we all know, this is a branch of mathematics, of course, and this has um, been used in science and engineering, and this is widely used in these domains. So now uh, people all often ask that I'm not from science or engineering background and I don't know about linear algebra or mathematics so is machine learning suitable for me of course it is suitable for you because it is not something that is uh, that will restrict you from learning machine learning it is just a part of machine learning so linear algebra if you really want to know about how does an algorithm functions how does an algorithm work if you want to know how these calculations are being done, how is it reaching to certain approximation or optimization functions? So that is what linear algebra really deals with. And if it helps you in understanding the working of your machine learning algorithms, many machine learning algorithms, especially in deep learning, it has been largely deployed because um, we will understand how is it really, is really important because it uses sensors, metrics, vectors, and so on. So you have to project your data and understand a lot from that. So now, if you are not from science background, it doesn't matter, linear algebra, you can learn. I'll provide you the sources so that it becomes easy for you to understand this thing, okay? So now we are coming to the topics of um, the key topics which are needed for you know machine learning. So these are very basic introduction of like matrices, vectors, tensors, determinant, these are things you need to know. You need to know what is a transpose of a matrix, what is an inverse of a matrix. So you know a matrix, like right? So it can be a um, matrix. Um, see, I'm, I'm not going into the details of these small topics, but if you want, I can come up with short videos for these topics. But uh, as of now, just understand that transpose of a matrix is nothing but you're converting rows into columns and uh, columns into rows, that's all. And inverse of a matrix, dot product, eigenvalues, eigenvectors, you've got single decomposition, single value decomposition, PCA, and stuff like that in linear algebra. So this is the basic introduction that these things are to be learned, are to be understood well if you are heading towards deep learning and machine learning. So these are the things which you have to understand in linear algebra, okay? Now, we'll move on to something called an example of PCA. So why I'm walking you through PCA is that principal component analysis. This is the simplest algorithm in machine learning, which uses basically reduce the dimensionality of our data set. Now, suppose you have been given like 1000 features and you've got 90% variance. Now you have to reduce these features and you use the simplest algorithm that is principal component analysis. Now this what happens is that principal component analysis would reduce these 1000 features to just three principal component. You can give these number of com components manually also when you are doing your you know when you're building your model so i have done a practical session of this pca i'll provide the link and you can see it in the card also so what happens is that uh, this entire it just consolidates the entire data into the three principal components so what it is doing it is not eliminating or removing any of the features but it is just reducing the dimensions and consolidating it and giving you new features altogether. Now, there are various uh, drawbacks also because you don't know how does it do it. It does its own calculations. So there are various uh, steps which you perform for PCA. And this has been covered in that video. Like you standardize data, you calculate the eigenvectors and eigenvalues from the correlation or covariance matrix. And again, then you, you know arrange it in the descending order and choose the K largest eigenvector. So I won't bore, bore you with the theory part of it. You just can just go and see the practical demo of that's of the same PCA component analysis. Now I walk you through another this thing of uh, linear algebra. So the applications of linear algebra is uh, the signal analysis. Now Hanishin. So uh, we use it in deep learning. So again we are using PCA. 
principal component analysis algorithm for this. And again, linear algebra has been used for facial recognition, community, uh, you know, detection. It is for using, uh, making predictions. Linear models are being used. We are using buy-in now largely for prediction of our machine learning models. We are using linear models, which is again, nothing but using linear algebra because they're using vectors, matrices, or tensors, right? So other applications like your ranking in search engines, Google uses it, and this has algorithm has really become very complex uh, with time, and this uses linear algebra. So uh, what are the parameters on what to rank your you know, page or your YouTube channel or anything? So this uses that algorithm, which is quite complex to understand now. So um, another applications would be like greedy algorithm, quantum computing, and linear programming. So now I come to the first one, and that is the signal analysis. Now, the signal analysis is uh, a topic in itself. So I'll just walk you through something, signal processing. Now, um, there's a very good video, and there's a very good lecture series by Dr. Strang. He's an MIT professor. And very knowledgeable insights does he give in very simple language. I'll provide the link in the description box so that you can enhance your knowledge also. Even I'm learning from him. So uh, what happens in signal processing is he, he explains, actually, I've taken this data from him only, that he says that signals are nothing but uh, a sequence of numbers like 0 or 1, other images or other signals that you get, infrared, x-rays, anything you know around you is a signal. So how does this signal really, you know, you, you transfer or transmit it from one source to another source? Like from television, you want to, you want a live show to be transmitted in, on television. How do you do that? So this is all about signal analysis and we use linear algebra for that. And I'm coming to just simplifying the process. It's just, we use uh, Fourier series here. Fourier analysis. Now, this Fourier analysis is, again, it's used in pure and applied mathematics. And this just, um, if I give you a brief introduction about Fourier analysis, it is just representing a periodic function as a sum of a sine and cosine function. So just don't go into much, you know, confusing terms in it. But yes, you have to understand this thing that when I'm talking about uh, transmitting a signal, when I want uh, signals to be transmitted into the computer and understands those signals either in a form of a picture or a video or audio then i have to break it down so for example if i have a picture i will break it down into pixels right and this pixel can again be chosen into light gray light to dark or the three channels that we have right green blue yellow uh, blue and uh, red so when you want to transmit too much information quickly, how do you do that? You have to reduce that information. So that's what it has been done, right? So here I just uh, will walk you through again here. Now I'm reducing these signals, I'm compressing them. And for that, I'm using PCA or an another decomposition algorithms so as to compress those signals, right? So the JPEG images uses Fourier series or you can say the cosine transforms. So um, another concept which he introduces is the wavelets, wavelets wherein you can really compress the signals and send it. And um, these are just fast oscillations and these are short waves. So he, you can get in more details here by Dr. Strang about wavelets because he's worked on this very concept of wavelets. So I would just bring you back to the signal processing application of it. And the signal analysis is really a very in-depth analysis, or I can say an application of linear algebra, which uses it to really ease our life. Whatever you are seeing now, whatever you're watching on TV, it is just because of signals and just because of linear algebra. It, it is very easy to actually see the results, but what goes under the scenes, behind the scenes, is something uh, that linear algebra really explores and uh, makes you understand how these things are done so these Fourier analysis or series it's been used in you know optics image processing quantum mechanics vibration analysis so um, the links for this if you're really interested in linear algebra and the series and going into depth of it i can provide the links in the description box and um, this is just a basic short introduction about linear algebra and its applications 
and what are the topics you have to cover in machine learning for linear algebra. So if you want more introduction about these uh, short topics, in short, a uh, very quick demo of all these, then let me know in the description box. I can come up with that. Uh, rest, um, just guys, uh, go and watch the videos of Dr. Strang. He is really giving, uh, contributing a lot to the society. And uh, I will provide the entire 36 videos are there in a consolidated format if you want to understand linear algebra, vectors, matrices, and stuff. So um, the links are there in the description box. You can go and access that. And also uh, stay tuned for more videos because I'll be coming up for with the various algorithms and explanation of the same. So thank you guys. Thank you for watching.